Hello, welcome back. Is this Cleanfield Wanted Hobbiton Planter? Well, Green Dragon Planter. I'll show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like or what I'm basing it off of here. Today is painting. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a steel wool and vinegar mixture, which is just vinegar with steel wool in it. Let it sit for a few days. I'm gonna paint it onto the legs. That's going to oxidize them and make them look aged. The body I'm going to paint with a roller yellow. The side walls will be green with a green paint that I have. I'm just using paints that I have. I'm not trying to match necessarily what's in there. I have no idea how to paint leaves and flowers like what's in that picture so we'll get to that. But first off let's take care of these legs. If you watch The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, you see the fence, fence posts, they're aged, they're worn out. This is one of the methods that they used to actually age that wood. If you have the right tour guide, they'll tell you that. They also flung yogurt on them to make mold naturally grow, uh, not mold, moss naturally grow. So uh, I'm not doing that part though, but this I am doing. I do this a lot anyways. Faces get painted yellow. These will be painted green. I'm going to hit as much as I can with just this roller and the yellow paint. Tip your paint, which is get the tip of your brush wet. Really, I should have wet this first, but um, tip of your brush, roll it on and drag this slowly across it really, really lightly. It gets rid of all that dimpling stuff that rollers leave. inch and a half in, vertical, marked out a square, one on the other side as well. I did not take good pictures of the designs that were on the side panels. I'm going to base it on what I think it looks like, which is like a large leaf with three leaves, tiny leaves around it. So to make sure all my circles were in decent spots, I used 
little roll of electrical tape that I had. The sides are all evenly spaced basically, so line it up right there and drew along the inside. I'm going to paint the steel wool vinegar on top of that now. So it's going to darken up the wood that is exposed. It's also going to oxidize the paint a little bit. Yeah, these, these are darker than I meant them to be. I should have just left them alone. But yeah, I mean, I even got that there. Oh, I gotta get these in there. I didn't, I didn't do those parts, I gotta do that. You need to be over there a little bit, but that that's actually pretty dang close. The colors are wrong, but I'm using paints that I happen to have, which are fairly close. There's a few things that would have made this a lot easier. Power tools, boards that were straight. Honestly, I did do dados on these. If I didn't do dados on it and I just used uh, pocket holes, it probably would have been fine if I just nailed it from the side. It probably would have been fine as butt joint. I think it actually turned out pretty nice. It, it probably distressed it a little too much. These are definitely too dark. Should have just left them as the, the steel wool vinegar mixture. And they would have been dead on matching that. A half of me really just wants to go down to the Weta workshop. I kind of want to just take it down and just sneak it into their yard. <laughs> If somebody else I know wants this, it's going to go to them first. I'm going to sign off with that. So subscribe, like, and comment, all that jazzy jazz stuff. And catch you next time. Take care.